हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ श्वेता कुलकर्णी फ्रॉम फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंट जे एस एस कॉलेज टूडे वी डिस्कस द कंटिन्यूशन पार्ट ऑफ द सेमी कंडक्टर इन दिस सेशन डिस्कशन पॉइंट्स आर ऑप्टो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक जंक्शन डिवाइजेस मीन्स इट कन्वर्ट लाइट एनर्जी टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी टू द लाइट एनर्जी सम डिवाइजेस वी डिस्कस इन दिस सेशन वन इज अ फोटो डायोड एल ई डी एंड सोलर सेल वी डिस्कस दीज अ डिवाइजेस वन बाई वन फर्स्ट वन इज फोटो डायोड वॉट इज अ दैट फोटो डायोड फोटो डायोड इज अ नथिंग बट द डिवाइस विच कन्वर्ट लाइट एनर्जी इन टू एलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी इज अ नोन एज फोटो डायोड मीन्स कन्वर्शन ऑफ एनर्जी टेक्स प्लेस विच टाइप टू विच टाइप लाइट एनर्जी इन टू इट्स एलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सच अ डिवाइस इज अ नोन एज फोटो डायोड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द फोटो डायोड A photodiode is again a special purpose p-n junction diode fabricated with a transparent window to allow a light to fall on the diode how it is to be there it is a p and n junction diode it has an a transparent window through this window light enter this junction andre पि एन जंक्षन तक इत जंक्षन सैडी ट्रांसपरेंट विंडोन इनसर्ट थ्रू दिस ट्रांसपरेंट विंडो लाइट कैन एमीट दिस जंक्षन इट इस जस्ट सिंपल कंस्ट्रक्शन आफ द फोटो डयोड पि एन जंक्षन वित् द ट्रांसपरेंट विंडो एट द जंक्षन सैड सिंपल वर्किंग प्रोसीजर first point what it says it is operated under a reverse bias condition then what do you mean by reverse bias okay p side is a connected to negative n side is a connected to positive power supply it is working under reverse bias condition second point when a photodiode is illuminated with the light with energy h nu must be greater than energy gap of a semiconductor you already know if a light emit from means for the electron emission energy required is equals to photon energy h nu if this electron move from your the conduction band to valence band or else if it is emitted out of the atom then the required energy must be greater than of the energy gap so they mention photodiode is illuminated by the light and the light incident aatu antandra light it contain a photon it's a photon energy equals to h nu this energy greater than the energy gap then only the emission of the electron takes place next point due to this L, due to this electron absorb energy then electron holes pair are generated when the electron absorb energy from incident light electron hole pairs are generated in the introduction part we discuss right generation and recombination of the charge carriers how the electron hole pair are generated when the electron absorb energy due to this absorption it come out of the bonding then hole created again electron hole pair are generated next point these generated pair are accumulated in or near the depletion region of the diode means the generated electron and holes are collected inside the depletion region or near to the depletion region this accumulation of the charge carriers 
it generate an electric field inside the junction when this electron hole pair are start accumulating inside the depletion region it generate the electric field inside the junction this generated electric field separate the electron hole pair without recombination we already known the generation and recombination of the charge carriers are spontaneously occurs when electron hole pair generated simultaneously recombination occurs but at this point the condition is the generated electric field is not allowed electron and holes for their recombination andre electric field generate agirutala a electric field electron hole recombination agodakka possibility illa it does not allow for the recombination purpose due to this electric field without recombination electrons reaches the n side and holes reaches the p side of the diode means not towards the depletion region away from the depletion region next when this electron reaches the n side it become negative when hole reaches the p side it become the positive when an extra load is connected we get an current through this one okay p and n junction light falls on this p and n junction with energy h nu this electron absorb the energy and start moving when this electron and hole pair is generated inside this depletion region electric field is generated due to this electric field the recombination of electron and hole pair is not occurs and such a uncombined electrons are accumulated where this electrons are accumulated these electron accumulated inside these electrons are start accumulating inside and holes are start accumulating on the p side it act as an positive act as a negative when we connect the load r we get an current andra what is a simple process it says in the construction part we know that depletion region iro hatre nerata transparent window irut through this transparent window inata light incident at light energy h nu depletion region aluga electrons irut electrons h nu absorb maadi emit aatu andre ile hole electron hole pair generate aatu when this electron hole pair is generated in the depletion region electric field is also generated this electric field enakatu recombination of electron and hole pair is not allowed andre electric field generate agirutala generate agiro electric field recombination process ge allow madalla if this electron and holes are not recombined means those electrons are accumulated away from the depletion region in the n side and holes are accumulated away from the depletion region in the p side then it act be positive negative when we connect a load across this one we get current it shows conversion of a light energy into electrical energy another point this magnitude of the current is depends upon the intensity of the incident light if the more intensity light is incident on the junction more number of the electrons are emitted more number of the electrons are emitted means we get the more current 
it shows photo current is directly proportional to intensity of the incident light as you observed in the diagram this i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 in the higher order as the intensity increases current value also increases it shows photo current is directly proportional to intensity of the incident light next application of this photodiode this photodiode is used in the photo detector for the optical signal optical signals are photo images in other bandra that photo images are to be easily detected by the photo diode means a light optical signals means the signals is coming with the help of the light we are not getting the images or idea about the light if we convert that to in the electrical form we can easily find out for example when the another intensity light bandittu antandra then electrical energy convert madidvu antandra namage current the value easily sigtet easily sigtet antandra now easily identify madod okay is to intensity light namage bandeti adakke is to current generate aatu roughly idea to calculate that we can use the photodiode is it clear the point next we move to led light emitting diode it is a reverse process the device which convert electrical energy into light energy in the photodiode what happens it convert light energy into electrical energy but in the led it convert electrical energy into light energy next it's a construction part it is a heavily doped pn junction diode which is working under forward bias condition in the photodiode it is working under a reverse bias condition but in led it is working under the forward bias the two heavily doped pn junction why the doping concentration is more to get more amount of the current now at this point it emit a spontaneous radiations it does not require any external agency for the emission of the radiation means it emits the radiation spontaneously another point this diode is covered with transparent cover so that emitted light can be visible as you see in the diagram the transparent covers are there due to this we can easily identify the emitted color light cathode anode and of the transparent color construction pn junction diode under forward bias condition spontaneous emission of the radiation takes place and outer cover is also a transparent one next point is it's a working process what is working process it is says when the diode is forward bias as we already discuss under the forward bias and reverse bias condition forward bias condition electrons move from n to p and holes move from p to n okay fine majority charge carriers are start moving such a move charge carriers are accumulated on either side of the pn junction the movement agiro charge carriers are accumulated on either side of the junction not near to the depletion region next point such accumulated charge carrier are start to recombine with the majority charge carriers on both p and n side first forward bias p side connected to positive n side connected to negative due to this electrons move from n to p and holes move from p to n 
such a moved electron and holes are accumulated on either side of the junction now such a moved charge carriers are interact with the majority charge carriers of a p and n side at the p side what are the majority hole at the ends what are the majority electron these cummed electron interact with the hole and this coming hole interact with the electron the point is here such accumulated charge carrier start to interact with the majority carrier andre illinda electrons illinda holes banta ee bandiro holes on the side wala genatu accumulate agak start aattu ಈ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ಜೊತೆ ಇಂಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಜೊತೆ ಇಂಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ರೀಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಫೋಟೋನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಫೋಟೋನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಪ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇಸ್ ವ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ in this recombination it emitted an photon it emitted an photon of energy h nu this emitted photon energy is equal or slightly less than the band gap if it if the more number of the interaction takes place more of the photons are emitted more photons means automatically it will become a greater what it shows it uh, the conversion of an electrical energy into of the light energy conversion of electrical energy into light energy point is clear ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಹೋಲು ರೀಕಂಬೈನ್ ಆಗೋಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ರೀಕಂಬೈನೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ವಿಚ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋಟೋನ್ ಫೋಟೋನ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಲೈಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಪವರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ನಾವು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ನಮಗೆ ಲೈಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಹೊರಗೆ ಬಂತು ಅಂದರೆ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಂಟು ಲೈಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜನ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ವ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕರ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬಟ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊತ ಹೋದಂಗೆ ಲೈಟ್ದು ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿನೂ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಕೋತ ಹೋತು ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಗೆ ಲೈಟ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ರೀಚ್ ಆಯಿತು ಹಾಗೇ ನಾವೇನಾದರೂ ಫೋಟೋ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಔಟ್ but the special condition is the threshold voltage of this led is higher than general silicon or germanium normal silicon mat germanium in threshold voltage irtatla adakkina en iruthe much higher value so 3 to 4 points first one moment of the charge carrier from n to p and p to n such a moved charge carriers are accumulated on either p and n side and these accumulated charge carriers interact with majority carriers on p and n in this interaction energy is released in the form of the light 
we supply the electrical energy we get the light energy conversion of electrical energy into light energy it's a application part led used in a remote controls remote control and then um, for example led just like a simple one laser beam and bit the pointer here the remote controlling a car at the other just on the pointer movement a country at our type of the remote control or the use mother next is in terms of the burglar alarm optical communication optical communication same i already said communication is with the help of the light known as optical communication if i apply an electrical signal it convert into its a light signal in terms of the burglar alarm if uh, any thief come for in the robbing that alarm starts to alarming next is advantages of this led led e requires the low operational voltage it consume less power to operate the led we does not require much amount of the power supply because it emits the spontaneously radiations next point is fast action and no warm up for time required as we already mentioned the spontaneous emission of the radiation means it does not require any time for the warm up and third point long life the as we know the threshold voltage is very high it indicates it does not get easily damaged for that reason it has the long lifetime fourth point fast on and off switching capacity we i think known when we on the switch some red color is blinking means one led is fixed when we off the switch that red light is off means it is a spontaneously have the capacity of switching on and of condition third concept is solar cell i it, i think it is a familiar to one solar means the light energy of course conversion of the solar energy into the light energy same thing solar cell is basically a pn junction which generate emf and solar radiation falls on it of course when the solar radiations is needed for the conversion of a solar energy to light energy electrical energy in this junction is kept much longer for the solar radiation fine means solar rays are not in a very single beam or in a narrow path they are spreading widely for more amount of the solar radiation means the pn junction uh, thickness or else its a wideness is also much longer now solar water heater adanna nortu solar water heater in a small package irangilla adu heater just like a long wide gap or also wider valagiruthe andre if we increase its length then more amount of the radiations are incident more current we get it here it's a construction part a p silicon p type silicon vapor of 300 micrometer is taken over which a thin layer of n type silicon is grown on one side by diffusion process okay we have a p type silicon and it is thickness is 300 micrometer over it we have a n type of silicon its thickness is 0.3 micrometer now the question arise why they reduce the thickness of the n type of silicon very much small because 
if the thickness is a small means then this incident radiation can easily reach this depletion region thickness kadmi irodakke enattu bandiru sun radiation or solar light easily enna type ologa pass aagi depletion region reach agoka possibility iruthe for that reason they reduce the thickness of the n type silicon next point other p side is coated with the metallic contact on the top of n type silicon layer metal finger electrode is deposited as the front contact at the p side we have the metallic contact as the back contact on the top of and we have the electrode it act as and the front contact p side bottom back contact n side top contact this metallic grid occupies only a very small fraction of the area so light can incident on cell from the top these uh, electrodes are very thin and it require a less area than large area are uh, available for the solar light to incident on the top of a p and n junction now come to the working point of this solar cell how this solar cell is working means conversion of solar energy into its light energy when a solar light reaches a p n junction by passing through n type silicon wafer the electron in this junction means inside the depletion region gain energy from the light and start emitting and emitted from the junction such emitted electron start to accumulate on electrodes which are at front contact top of n type silicon and holes accumulate on a back contact of p type silicon due to this electrodes act as an cathode and back contact act as an anode with the help of the load we can easily get the current now i will explain it we already know the thickness of the n is small when the light incident on this depletion region when the light incident on this depletion region in this depletion region electron hole pair is there this electron absorb the energy from incident light and it is emitted out such emitted electrons are start accumulating on this electrode on this electrode and holes are accumulated on this metallic plate indra n type thickness kadmi irodakka light easily pass aagi depletion region reach aatu depletion region nolaga electron hole pair iruthe electron photon energy absorb maadi emitted aagiruthe emit aagiro electrons ellavu electrode mele bande deposit aagakka start aagutha on front contact and these holes are accumulated on the back contact then this electrode become negative act as an anode this metallic contact become positive act as an cathode anode and cathode we apply the load we can easily get the current out it shows conversion of a solar energy to electrical energy ಲೈಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಡಿಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ರೀಜನಿಗೆ ಬಂತು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಮಿಟ್ ಆಯಿತು ಎಮಿಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಡೆಪಾಸಿಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಆ್ಯನೋಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಆಯಿತು ಹೋಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಡೆಪಾಸಿಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಕ್ಯಾಥೋಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಆಯಿತು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್
what are the advantage no external biasing is needed means this solar cell is not working under a reverse bias or else of the forward bias means no external power supply is needed for the generation of the charge carriers it has the longer lifetime okay as we of course are known most of the time we use the solar battery solar cells means long lifetime it has we get a more amount of the current okay next application is already known solar battery solar water heater solar light and solar calculator and of the other some more applications part also there questions based on this session they may ask for the three mark write a note on the photo diode if they ask for the three mark photo diode just a block diagram of this photo diode construction carries one mark simple two step working carries a three marks application of led and its advantages three led applications and its advantages next one how solar cell convert light energy into electrical energy either they ask for the three mark or else of the five mark questions thank you